Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnaj. The news in detail. Maharashtra Energy Minister Nitin Raut on Tuesday announced that the state government will not be able to waiver or provide any relaxation in the inflated power bills that consumers received after the lockdown. Electricity consumers in the state will have to pay the full amount as for reading in the bill, he said. Mahavitan is also a consumer. He buys electricity from other sources. Currently, the corporation is facing a deficit of Rs 69,000 crores. We cannot avail of further debt at this stage. We tried hard to provide benefits to the consumer, but unfortunately, the center did not help us without lamented. Residents across the state have been complaining about abnormality high electricity bill which they received after the lockdown. Even celebrities like Nimrat Kaur, Sova Ali Khan and Nehadhupe had taken a social media to protest the ill-fated bills. In a significant action against low rushing incident of mobile theft, a squad of water a police has rounded up one Tipu Aliyaz Sultan Ashfaq Sheikh, a resident of Kalamna and detained a minor boy for being involved in mobile theft and have recovered 12 mobile phones from them. According to sources, the squad comprising Pihanil Daksandi, API Ramesh Nandavre, Bittulal Pandey, Constable Mangesh Tamre, Atul Tikle and Pawan Shakar Kavar on patrolling on duty on Monday night, when they found two youth moving around suspiciously. Subsequently, cops surrounded them and sought explanation of roaming around so late in the night. However, when the duo failed to provide any concrete answers, cops rounded them up at Watara Police Station. During interrogation, the duo admitted to being involved in stealing up mobile phones. So police arrested the accused and detained the minor boy. Bajaj Nagar police have arrested a thief absconding for over one and a half year. Besides arresting the accused Rikas Jeevan Nikhari, cops have also recovered stolen valuable worth Rs 20.54 lakhs and also detained Prakash Matara of Panchubai. A case of house breaking was reportedly recently at Yogesh Shinde's house in Pratap Nagar. Ms. Krent had reportedly decamped with 455 grams of gold and cash 35,000. During the investigation, cop got inputs about Nikare and launched a manhunt for him. For over one and a half year, Nikare had managed to hide from cops by changing his mobile phone and location several times. On November 14, Bajaj Nagar cop received secret inputs that Nikare was taking shelter as a servant at Chhatrapur based Dava or Gopal Road in Saurabh. Acting swiftly on the inputs, cops surrounded and eventually managed to nab him and his accomplice. In a bid to facilitate the rapid development of the tribal dominant region in Chhattisgarh, Chief Minister Bukesh Bagel on Tuesday urged Union Road, Transport and Highway and MSME Minister Nitin Gadkari to declare three new national highways in the state of routes passing through tribal areas. During this visit to Nagpur, Bagel paid a courtesy call on Nitin Gadkari to extend Diwali wishes and held discussion on various issues related to road and infrastructural development in Chhattisgarh. The highway requested by Bagel include Raigarh, Ghargoda, Dharamchigarh Road, Pathalgao Road, Ambikapur, Vardrap Ganj, Bamne Renukot, Banaras Mark and Pandaria Bajgarh, Gadasarai Road. He said that these routes pass through tribal dominant areas and also connect the proposed route under the centrally sponsored Bharat Mata project. The Chief Minister expressed gratitude to Nitin Gadkari for tearing off Bopalak Patanam, Taralguru Road, upgrading the Tati Band flyover and Patrapali Katkod Road in the capital city of Raipur. Unemployment is a serious problem in remote areas of Karcharolia and Ahari. Although there are many graduates here, they do not have employment. Nagpur Mayor Sandeep Joshi, a BJP ally candidate from the Nagpur Graduate Constituency, assured that he was committed to solving the problems of these well educated employed graduates. On Tuesday, he visited Garchiroli district and met the activists there. He was accompanied by Garchiroli Chibur Lok Sabha MP Ashok Nete, MLA Dr. Deora Police, State Secretary Rajesh Bakani, Garchiroli District President Kishan Nagdeva, and District General Secretary Ravi Bhav Palawa. In Aheri Sandeep Joshi met former Minister of State Raje Ambrish Rao Atram and held discussion on various issues. This followed his recent tour in Bandara Gondi and Nagpur, where he met with many office bearers and work of the BJP and chalked out with them the strategy to be adopted in the upcoming graduate constituency polls. Nagpur district registered 263 new COVID-19 positive cases on Tuesday, which took the overall corona positive cases tally to 1,6824. The number of patients who died due to the infection on Tuesday was 6, which pushed the death toll in the district to 3,531. The trend of record patient exceeding new cases has reversed. 
On the other hand, 211 persons went home after recovery and obtaining permission from medical authorities. With this, the total number of recovered patients in the district is now 1,199, including patients who have recovered during home isolation and treatment. The COVID-19 recovery rate on Tuesday stood at 93.8% while giving a breakup of the death toll. Concerned medical officials revealed that out of the total casualties, 597 and 2,480 victims are from rural and urban areas of the district respectively and 454 persons are hailing from outside Nagpur district. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in another round, the city stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself.